Hi, it's Dan here. Tonight we're having a bit of fun. We're on Kangaroo Island at the Amazing Remarkable Rocks, and I want to bust a bit of a myth. I read on a Facebook post recently that it's challenging to take good astro photos with micro four third cameras. Now, I'm not an astro photographer. Uh, my work is normally at the other end of the scale. I'm normally here when there's a big ass bright moon. I very, very, very rarely will chase astro. Now, using a very good app, the photographer's ephemeris. I know that coming up over the, uh, sort of up behind me uh, tonight is gonna be the Milky Way, sort of standing nice and upright, which is a bit of fun. Um, so I'm gonna be working with that. We're gonna be trying to incorporate a little bit of light painting into it, which is kind of counterintuitive uh, to working with Astro. But most importantly, what we're gonna be doing is really, really trying to push the gear to the limit. I'm here for two nights, and we're not gonna be mucking around. I've got two Olympus EM1 Mark IIs with me, which are the best Micro Four Third cameras that you can buy. And I've also got a little EM10 Mark III, which is uh, probably a little more challenging for Astro stuff, but let's see if we can't grab a bunch of images on all of these cameras, process the bejeebas out of them, and let you take a look and see if you reckon that you can grab a great Astro image with a micro four third sensor. Let's get into it, it's gonna be a great night. Now one of the tricky things is that because we're going to be pushing the gear to the limits of ISO uh, um, and, and we're going to do long exposures and that sort of thing, is I'm going to try and incorporate some light painting into the images. Now the two don't go very well together because what we've got is really sensitive cameras, high ISOs, fast glass, uh, and then we've got light painting that we want to add into it. Now by the nature of them, light painting tools are really bright. So I'm going to be using probably really dim torches. If we spin any balls of light, they're going to be, the tools will be dulled right down. I've got a whole lot of tea lights and string lights and bits and pieces that we're going to be using to illuminate the rocks through the night. But it's going to be a massive challenge for me, but one I'm happy to take up. So we'll see how we go. Uh, I'll come back to you tomorrow and let's see if we can't grab some great images uh, that prove that um, you can take good astro images with a micro four third camera. I think um, yeah, you can probably take great astro images with an iPhone.
been a week since uh, I was over at Kangaroo Island making the images you've just taken a look at and it's been great having that time to sit down and really take a look at what we captured, uh, take a close look at them and really think about what it is that I got, whether it achieved what I wanted to go over there and do. We'll talk a bit about that. But what I, what I came back from the weekend with is realizing that I had a great weekend. It was awesome personally. I got some time just to relax in a really busy time. Uh, but I'm also super stoked with what I got. Now, I made it really clear at the beginning, I'm not an astrophotographer. Everything I was doing on the weekend, apart from the light painting, was way outside my comfort zone. I was getting frustrated, a bit confused at times, but it didn't really matter. All I was doing is pointing the camera at the sky, cranking everything as hard as I could, and seeing what we got. And uh, I don't know about you, I'm really happy with what I've seen. I hope that I have uh, shown you on the screen uh, what I got. It's hard to see sometimes with lower res images and all of that. Anyway, I think what we've done is we've shown that you know, using a micro full third camera, uh, you can create some really neat astro images. Um, you know, if I'm really honest, uh, you can probably create a good astro image with any camera. It's only if you get into the really fine details and start pixel peeping that you might find some, some weird stuff. But I think for anyone who's new to astro or just wanting to push some boundaries, you can use any bloody camera. And I know that the, the Olympus EM1s that I used were fantastic. I didn't get a chance to pull out the little EM10 Mark III, but uh, I'm, I'm, I have absolutely no doubt that, that you get some really fun stuff out of that. Now, the last thing I want to do is when, uh, when you've been looking at those images on the side, I've been listing what light painting tools I used. For those of you who are not really familiar with them, I just want to outline what they are really quick. Now, the non-light painting images, the ones where I was just doing astro with the rocks in the foreground, all of the rocks were lit with some stuff. Now, so I used a few things to do that. One of them is these, which are just uh, string Christmas lights. Uh, I was just dangling these around the place to light stuff. They are super dim, but it didn't matter because at ISO 1600 or 3200, everything is gonna get lit up. So I used those quite a bit. Um, in the images where I've written fill light, what I've been using is uh, the Chroma Lights. This is a product that we uh, that we sell. So if you um, if you light them up like that, uh, now it's not super bright in here, but all I was doing, they're quite dim. All I was doing was putting those on the ground and sometimes a long way away from where the actual thing was we were lighting uh, and just putting it on the ground. And sometimes I was using the one that's a little yellowy and sometimes I was using uh, this one which is orange to get a bit of orange. So I was using a combination of those three to get all of the fiddle light that you saw on the rocks. And they didn't need to be very bright, obviously. Okay, now the other tools we were using, uh, we used a, uh, we were using a flute. For those of you that are not familiar with a light flute, that's what that is. Again, it's a product you can check out on the website. Uh, absolutely huge amount of fun. And every now and then I was using, whoops, so the big large pano shot that you, that's in there with the rocks in the foreground and stuff, I was using this, which is about a $10, $15 torch. And that's all you need uh, when you only need a dim bit of light. So I was using that quite a bit. Uh, and then of course we were using blades for quite a bit of stuff. Uh, this, is a, um, this is a light blade with Kayo. I was using them a bit and I was using a few arc lights as well, which are my own product. Uh, this is a new product here, this diamond shaped one that I'm, I'm doing which is solid colour which fits into the Kyo. And then the only other tool that we were using, I was travelling pretty light really, uh, was this which is the light painting brushes black fibre optic. Now I ended up using this because I needed just a really delicate light and so what I was doing uh, is I was so you can see the light coming out of the end there, is I was just using this, now I don't know if you can see, I was just using this to put really delicate light onto uh, some of the rocks. Every now and then I'd focus it like that and use that focus, and then every now and then I would just use it display, I would sort of spread like that. So those are the tools that I was using, just to make it clear if you're looking at the images. But yeah, oh, of course I was using the ball of light tool as well to create the orb that's in there. So, uh, what did I take away from the weekend? Well, a whole lot of things. 
Firstly, uh, it's a huge amount of fun pushing outside the boundary, uh, out, sorry, outside of my comfort zone. Uh, yes, you can create an astro image with a micro four third camera. I don't think there's any great surprise there. Uh, but most importantly, uh, I came away having had a massive amount of fun uh, doing something that I wasn't used to doing and I always enjoy that. I always like taking an idea and just going for it. So there you go, uh, a bit of astro, a bit of light painting, um, magic. Thanks for coming along on the trip across to Kangaroo Island and thanks for uh, hopefully enjoying some of the images and I hope you get out and have a crack yourself. Uh, don't be shy, push some boundaries, crank your machines and have fun. Beautiful. Thank you.